Hey everybody, it's Pacemaker and Buttons again. Uh, getting on here to answer some questions uh, that a lot of people may have and may get on here to ask. And, and uh, so we've watched a lot of videos for for on couples that are doing the Appalachian Trail and uh, they've come on and given some information about themselves. And, and that's what this video is all about. Um, my name is uh, Pacemaker, and this is Buttons. Hello. Uh, as you may know, and uh, our real names is Jim and Renee Mansfield. We're from Western Arkansas. Uh, I am 59 years old, and if she wants to give her <laughs> age on camera, <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I got my. Uh, my trail name i think i gave it to myself really but it's uh, a little bit of history about me i have a pacemaker um it was given to me uh in 2009 uh, just before That's way of putting it. yeah i i it, it was given to me before i retired the military in 2010 i am a uh 24 year veteran of the army and um that is a a little bit how I got my my trail name but I've I found it fitting and uh, I didn't want to get on the trail and take some other name um, so and we're, you're always we're, trying to set the pace and we yeah. were laughing about that because I'm like I'm following you yeah and then it just flowed pacemaker so it's it's a I think it comes naturally with that and I, I like it and everybody seems to like it so we're yeah. we're just gonna go with that and Oh, and um, Buttons. I've had my nickname from the day I was born. And I was called by my name, Buttons, forever. And then when I was a young adult, it kind of fell away, like it does with most people that age. But in talking about trail names and trying to see if people were going to give us our trail names, since we've been hiking for many years, I just didn't want somebody to give me a trail name that I really didn't like. That's right. And so we were just talking about it one day, trying to go over a list of names. And I was like, you know what? Just go with buttons. I love that. And there's no significance to that other than my nose looking like that when I was a baby. But it just fit. So that's what go. we stuck with, pacemaker and buttons. That's right. So uh, so that's how we acquired our trail names. Yeah. Our original uh, homes, uh, we're a military family, so we come from different backgrounds. I'm from the Northeast, and uh, I was born in Springfield, Massachusetts, and uh, raised in the Berkshire Mountains. Uh, and I guess that goes into one of the reasons why I want to hike the trail is because the AT runs through there, and yep. um, I drove over the AT uh, for a while there every day going to work and uh biked over it and uh stopped there took pictures of the signs and things like that so it's always been in my heart since i was a kid um in the berkshires and um but uh, massachusetts uh was my home for a good 20 years growing up and uh ever after that i joined the the military and and off i went so yep and then we met in 87 1987 in my hometown of Columbus, Georgia, right outside of Fort Benning, he was stationed there. And so I'm from Georgia, and we've always camped all my life and hiked some, not as much as, and as seriously as we do now. But when we met and got married and realized, obviously, that we had a lot in common with the outdoors, we've always wanted to uh, individually hike the Appalachian Trail and didn't know until we did get together. And so it was befitting for us to decide later on in our marriage when the time was just right for us to do this. So we have planned it for many years now, financially planned it logistically planned it and we prayed about it and we felt like the best time would be when we retire and it's november now of 24 and we retired this past august 
Yep. So we're very blessed that we're going to have the time on our side to do this. We're not going to feel rushed yep. to have to get back to a job. Yeah, it, uh, we retired in August. Uh, and just to give you some general information, we were contractors with the uh, government for, I was for 13 years in uh, Buttons, uh, how I don't know, seven six, or seven or eight years. And uh, we just, over the last couple of years, uh, we put a date down and we stuck with it and ran with it. And our financial advisor, we told him what we wanted and here we are. So we're in a good position to do the trail. Um, we are very blessed uh, to have friends and family to take care of our home while we're away and take care of our, our animal, <laughs> our our daughter. Our other uh, daughter. Yeah, our spoiled child, uh, Katie. And I think you've seen her in prior videos uh, up and down the trail. She's a uh, Australian Shepherd. And uh, we love all our kids. Um, speaking of kids, we have three children that are up and grown and married and out of the house. And they all have children of their own now. Uh, we have, again, been blessed with that. Uh, we have five grandchildren and uh, all doing well and doing strong. So, yes. um, we're very, very blessed. Uh, we're going down a list here of, of information so this video won't take too long. Um, our uh, planning process, that's the uh, one thing that we were gonna talk about generally again. Yeah, and then I'll hit um, this again a little bit. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going down the list, like we said, we, our planning process, we talked about the last 10 years, uh, getting getting financially set, retired, and, and putting a... I wanted to do the trail um, before I turned 60, which will be uh, the end of next year. Um, so, again, another milestone uh, to get that done. I wanted to do it as early as possible with our health, which is fine we have some issues like everybody else does uh, you know being in the military and growing older um, but everything it seems like <clears throat> you try to get everything just right and days go by and you don't truly have to plan as much as you think yes. but I, I'm just a planning person that's what I used to do um, you wanted to say something about your Oh, yes, I did want to say, kind of on a side note, on a subject you touched on about age. Yeah. We've watched a lot of videos in the past, and we always kind of gear towards couples, and mostly couples our age, which is not easy to find sometimes out there. Uh, and we've learned a lot watching videos these last 10 years, and we've pulled snippets from this one and that one, and have really fine-tuned our hiking process. But there are some questions sometimes that I would have when I'm watching a couple, most specifically a female uh, my age, around my age anyway. I'm 58 years old, and I'm going to give some biometric information just because I'm always curious about other women out there. When you see someone hiking, you're like, how does her pack fit? What is her height? I mean, what is her weight for that height, for that pack? And how is that affecting her knees? And blah, blah, blah. So just to let you know, in case any of you ladies out there have any questions, I am 5'8". Sad to say I'm 180 pounds. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. You're, you're, but, um, you're 177, I think. I'm. Bah, yeah, rounded it up, whatever. But, um, and I uh, am relatively good health. I do have some osteoarthritis a little bit in some areas of my body. And I have really bad knees. I have no cartilage in either of my knees. I get shots every six months. And that had been an issue in the back of my mind heading out on this trail. But I've been exercising and we've been doing a lot of hiking and I'm confident that I'm gonna be okay. I am on medication for thyroid, uh, Hashimoto's disease. I have hypothyroidism. 
and very it's very common and i'll be taking my meds along the way and me too you're on meds too and we'll yep. we'll be taking our meds for those of you who wonder how you do that we just will take our daily meds but the good thing is is we've going to the doctor staying in touch with them getting clearances through our doctors yes um like with my pacemaker um sleep apnea deal, dealing with all this yes and um we're really going to do it anyway, one way or the other. So, yep. uh, but I mean, it, it's, I'm saying the doctors are, are clearing us and yes. giving us thumbs up. So and we're not, we're not worried about any of that. That's any right. Of that, we, so. we, we encourage you all to, to make sure you get your dental cut, you know, and your, your regular, you yeah, know, yeah. year. And then, and even skin doctor, because I was concerned I yeah. had skin cancer right between my eyes. I have a scar right there. And I'm very careful about, being out in the sun and, and you know, you gotta be in the elements. So I'm just very, very careful with uh, everything in general. I guess I'm getting off topic, but anyway. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always, you know, private message us, send us Facebook messages, well, whatever. On YouTube, you can leave a comment, comment. down below. Yep. <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe. Yes. So we, we hope you subscribe. Um, we want to make this journey as fun as possible. And like I was telling Buttons this morning, it, it's kind of like the trail. It has its ups and downs. So as anybody does have their moments, I know I will have mine. And sure uh, have mine. ups and downs. <laughs> uh, and they, they're called pointless ups and downs. Pointless ups and downs for a reason. So right. yeah, you just do what you got to do. Right. And um, we're going to we're going to make the most of it. We're going to have fun. We're so excited to go. Um, an announcement also on the side is starting on the 27th of December, we're doing the end of days trail or excuse me, the foothills trail. It's uh, it's a kind of an event on the side It's called uh, end of days. Uh, Ram Dino, a shout out to you. Um, uh, putting this together it's out there and starts in on the east side table rock south carolina uh, state park and it goes for 76 miles it will be over new year's day and then uh, most likely we'll we'll get it finished by the second or third uh, depending on weather of course uh, anything can happen but we're we're gonna that's gonna be our last shakedown hike uh before we go and um mm -hmm. i'm pretty confident we've got everything that we'll need for the winter season or the cold season uh the first couple months that we'll be on the at and uh once uh, it starts getting warm that's when we're gonna start shuffling things uh up the trail uh, to Massachusetts where we have relatives up there. Thank you, Terry and Danny. And uh, holding on to that until we get up at, that far at least. And um, we can't wait to do all this stuff and chomping at the bit. I just noticed today that the 90 day mark is today. And uh, we're currently located at uh, the Lake Fort Smith State Park where our uh, hiking stomping grounds, our training areas uh, over the last couple of months. We've done probably 40 to 50 miles total in this area. Uh, no overnights because you can't sleep overnight in the park. You have to go down the Ozark Highland Trail, which is goes north around the lake and out to the east from here. Um, but we're gonna, like I say, gonna use that foothills trail in south carolina is our overnight test uh on our uh gear the lows out there i'm just trying to guess but it's going to be in the 20s uh and the highs probably high 40s maybe just 50s looking at the history. Yeah, yeah yeah but yeah it's all it's all going to be good uh there's a lot of ups uh right when you get on that foothills trail straight up four miles and then up and over and Good training. Yeah, though. can't wait to do it. What are we missing? I think that's it. I'm sure they're tired of listening to us. Yeah. So we just wanted to uh, pop in and say hi, but we need to go because I'm sure you need to go. Time's a ticking. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're excited. 
It's good uh, seeing you all. Yeah, hope uh, hope you're excited for us. Uh, hope you stay tuned. Got got lots of stuff. We do uh, have to review some of our gear that we're gonna use. Uh, I got my sleeping oh, yeah. bag and we'll do a review. We'll do yeah. video. We did the you. tent. Mm -hmm. The tents out there, uh, yeah. the triplex. I'll do a fee. Uh, I'll do my review yeah. of all my things. Yeah, and he can do the same. Yeah, we've got some time in the still. future. Yeah, we got a little yeah. bit of time to do that. But uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for liking and subscribing and sharing and supporting us uh, as we as yes, we do this really journey. Really is important. Your encouraging words are, yeah. are um, a blessing to us too. Keeps us motivated. Yeah. And we, um, like most people, we're just doing this too for posterity's sake, so we can look back at it in the future, and so that our children and grandchildren will have something to watch as well. But it's just been really wonderful talking to y'all today. And we'll let y'all go. Thanks for watching. Have a great Christmas. Bye. Bye. It's recording. One, two, three. Hey, y'all. Fa uh, yeah, Facebook yes. friends. Yes. <laughs> Face maker and buttons here. Uh, doing another video on our personal information. <laughs>